Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. In this video, I will demonstrate my final year project simulation which is cascaded multi-level inverter employing nearest level modulation and multi-carrier PWM switching technique. Okay, first of all, I would like to introduce my inverter power circuit uh, which I use the cascaded H-bridge 5 level inverter where there are 8 diode switches and 2 separate DT sources and the value that I choose is 15 volt for both of them 15 volt ok the load resistor I pick 100 ohms so this is the power circuit of my multi-level inverter and next I want to introduce my nearest level modulation control circuit as we all know that the, the nearest level modulation is actually comparing the sine wave with nearest voltage level reference produced by the inverter so what I actually do is I use this scheme this is actually the NLM conventional scheme where the sine wave intercept at half of the output waveform of the inverter so uh, since I only use 5 level inverter since I only do the 5 level so the only things that I need to consider is these two VREF2 and VREF1 so how did I determine these two? Uh, the first thing I do is I assume VDC 5 volt and 2 VDC 10 volt so with that I can determine that the VREF2 is 7.5 and the VREF1 is 2.5 here so uh, I put it here 7.5 and 2.5 and negative 2.5 and negative 7.5 voltage reference these two is to determine the below part of the waveform and the sine wave amplitude is 10 which is the 2 VDC that I mentioned before and the generated pulses will be like this one this will be the generated pulses and these pulses then will be operating the power circuit and the output waveform of the power circuit will be like this one employing nearest level modulation as you can see there are 5 levels which is the 30 uh, this 30 is actually the sum of 2 separate DC sources and the 15, the second one is 15 the third one is 0 the fourth one is negative 15 and the fifth one is negative 30 5 voltage levels so uh, I want to show the THD obtained the THD obtained for the nearest level modulation implementation is 17.08% without using any filter which is quite low and this is the frequency spectrum for the NLM implementation inverter so next I want to show the multi-carrier PWM uh, the power circuit will be the same and the control circuit of multi-carrier PWM is like this one which I use the sine wave generator with 2 amplitude and 50 hertz and I use triangle generator with 2000 kilohertz 2 kilohertz carrier frequency and this for equation blocks and the relational operator for comparison and this for equation blocks is actually to generate the triangle carrier wave in phase triangle carrier wave as you can see they are all the same and this wave then will be compared with the sine wave uh, like this one like this one it will be compared with the sine wave to generate PWM pulses the pulses then will be obtained like this one this is the PWM generated from the multi-carrier PWM control circuit so when these signals, these pulses operating the power circuit uh, the output waveform obtained will be like this as you can see the waveform still got the 5 levels like the NLM implementation the 30, 15, 0, 
negative 15 and negative 30 volt same as the as before so the i want to show the thd obtained the thd obtained for the multi carrier pwm uh, implementation of the inverter will be 27.57 percent which is higher than the nlm implementation and this is the frequency spectrum of the multi carrier pwm okay i think that's all from me for this video demonstration okay thank you